Hello everyone of YouTube, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And today we're back in the amazing world of Fallout 4. And this is going to be a cool video guys, because I'm going to show you the Wasteland Workshop DLC. Now before I get into this, you're probably thinking, well it's a bit late for that isn't it? Well I do apologise guys, I've been very busy at the moment, so I've only just been able to get this out here. So yeah, and I really wanted to fully experience the DLC for myself. And I still haven't really used that much of its materials and content that it gives you. But let's just show you the stuff that it gives you to start off with. There's nothing in special as you can see. But if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, there's this new section called cages. And here are the cages you can get. You can have a cat cage, a dog cage, a mole rat cage, which actually looks really cool. And I can build this. Yes, I can build it. A uh, mutant hound cage. In medium cage, we have a feral ghoul cage. A gorilla cage, which you unlock by doing, I'll do that in the video actually, gunner cage, insect cage, raider cage, and a super mutant cage, so that's medium. Now going into large, we have a brahmin cage, and we have a death core cage, which is one of the best cores, and a murloc cage, a rad scorpion, a rad stag, and a yogwai cage. Here we have the Arena Contest Blue Team. Settlers assigned to this will become hostile to the Red Team. And yeah, it's really cool. So you can do this. To, basically, that's what you use to have your settlers fight each other. The Beta Wave Emitter, this is what you use to make like Death Claws and that. Not hostile to you, basically. And this is the Quitting Time Siren. So when you have a battle, this is what stops the fight and ends it all so they stop fighting. So yeah, that's cages, that's where the most of the workshop stuff is, but we come into lights here and go to neon. As you can see, there's these loads of letters in all types of different colours, but if you come all the way to the end, we have this neon sign that says open, which is really cool, and I've used that quite a couple of times in my builds, which I will show you in a bit. And I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, oh wait, I forgot something. A concrete, which is a new building material, if you didn't know. So we've got concrete floors right here. Quite a lot to choose from. We've got like circled ones, so you can build some really unique builds. And triangle ones, of course, if you want to be Illuminati builds. I don't know. <laughs> but here yeah, you can see you've got round. Here's the roofs you can have. Here's the stairs. So you can just really make these arenas now. So, you know, as you can see here, I've tried to build an arena before the DLC came out. It didn't go very well. So now it's just there. But anyway, guys, as you can see here, I've used the neon lights to put over Santry Hills. Let me just turn it to night so I can show you guys that. See you in a bit. Right then, guys, we are back, and it's now night, so now I can show you the neon signs in action. Now, these are actually really cool. So as you can see here on my Santry Hills, it's all... I don't know the word for it, colourful, and it's I really like it like that. So I'll just show you some other things that I've been building using the Wasteland Workshop DLC. So over here, as you can see when we get round the corner, I've used a concrete wall, and on it I've used another Leon lights. So there you go, it looks really good. There's the open sign over there. Here's the oil lights that I forgot to show you, but I'll hopefully build something new with it and I'll show you that build. Here it says bar, here it says pool, here it says room, here it says lounge. So I've been using this quite a lot. So anyway guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Like it if you like it. Don't like it if you didn't like it. And subscribe for more. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next video. And... Goodbye.